okay so i uh, consider this way like okay for all the developer right here we have a github where all the developer are putting their file like yesterday we have discussed right and there is a two different developer like you can see here you have a one developer with they have set up the gate in their system and there is another developer they are set up in their system okay so first of all if you see uh, okay consider like this is saira machine where he has installed the git so he is one developer and uh, he has done the installation of git okay and then after that all the command he has set up and then after that now this this is going to be on like for example nihal machine okay so this is going to be nihal machine and where uh, he has also installed the git git in it all the things which he, we have discussed already he has done both of them are working on the same piece of code but in the different time zone maybe okay or maybe in the different uh, team they are collaborating so here like all the working area or this has been set up okay after uh, get initializing so he has already created working area staging area and local repository now here also and over here too So here you can see git push and pull command we have done and with the help of that here code has been taken. Okay, so here for example, Sairam has committed some code. So he has done the git push and move the code into the central repository. And now Nihal is taking the code doing the git pull. So it might happen that okay, uh, there is a one single file okay that uh, on that both of them are working. Okay, consider they have index.html file available where all the developer are working. Okay, so now this same file like here, uh, Sairam has worked and uh, earlier like we have discussed, it has been moved over here. So now on the same file here, uh, Sairam has worked and put it into the local repository. Okay, and then now here he is uh, sending to the, with the help of git push, he put it into the GitHub that will be your central repository. And same has been taken from uh, uh, GitHub from the central repository to the local repository while doing git pull and doing the changes. So now again here, when Nihal is going to push the changes, like multiple developer are working on the same file. So where now here Nihal is going to do the push the changes once he is done with his task. So in that case here, okay, it might happen on the same time. Sainam is also doing git push. And he is also putting the code. Okay, maybe there are uh, several uh, changes that in that, that's why here you guys are going to be work on the same file so in that case if the file is same over here okay and on the same file sairam is also doing the changes and do good git push and nihal is also doing the changes and doing the git push so here at a one single time the file has been uh, changed right nihal has done the changes and same time sairam is also doing the changes 
so here it is going to impact the final code okay this will be your final code and it is at the same time like for example he has done the changes okay in line number three okay here are uh, some uh, differences that we have okay so like like why line number one two three he has uh, made the changes and now here he ha he is working on the line number same three okay and now here you can see overwrite has done so it means there is a conflict because there is a one developer is also going to do the changes on the same record same file and the another developer is also going to be work on the same so there will be conflict okay and here on the same time we are going to do the changes request from different developer so to resolve this issue that okay there will be no conflict will occur we will not do the changes in the main code final code that we have we will not do the changes in the final code instead of that we are going to maintain the branchings and in the branching we are going to maintain the code so it will not impact the final code why so so in that case if you have a multiple developer they are working all together they are not going to override the changes of each other and second thing over here that uh, we can keep a track that which developer has made the changes in what and it is not going to directly impact your master code or the main code it might happen like okay in the third and where he is doing changes and he is doing changes okay and in, due to that here your final code corrupted okay your final code is not working because all of you are doing the changes in the same piece of code so in that case here what it we can do is here instead of doing the changes in the main code that you have we are going to maintain a copy of the code in the another branch and then we are going to do the changes and to make sure everything is working fine then only we are going to merge the changes into the master branch how it is going to be work so we will maintain first of all the branching concept so we will maintain one branch that will be your master branch master branch or main branch you can say so master branch is something where we are going to maintain the final code that you have okay so final code we are going to maintain under the master branch right so this will be your master branch first of all okay and now here you can see all the code that will be the final code we are going to put it into the master branch now here each developer are going to create their own branches okay like here for example sairam is working sairam is going to create his own branch of the code okay and similar way here nihal is working so nihal is going to create a branch over here okay so in that case to make sure that each developer is not going to impact the code on the master branch master branch is something that is going to contain the final code okay that is going to be live in the production so I, we are not going to touch the final code instead of that we are going to maintain the copy of the code okay in their own branch and here we are going to do the changes so first of all there will be no conflict and second thing over here each developer is able to work as per their alignment like if you see i'll do the different color over here so if you see the blue one uh, that is uh, nihal branch or oh, sorry a uh, sairam branch now here the green one is yeah, nihal branch so here you can see if i'm going to be mark any name you can give while creating the branch and this is going to be nihal branch now what happen with the help of this one is here if nihal made any changes right in the code okay so if nihal made any changes in the code so it is going to be reflect on his branch only okay so for example here he is working on the index.html so same file you have available over here too same file copy we are going to maintain in each branch here also we have index.html copy so from the master branch he maintain the copy in his own branch so if any changes nihal is going to do in his branch it is not going to reflect in the master branch until or unless he is not going to do the merge okay until or unless if you are not doing the merge changes from your personal branch to master branch 
okay it is not going to be reflect over here in the master branch so to show the changes into the final branch you need to merge the changes from your personal branch to master branch so here you have index.html and here if you are going to do any changes like you are going to simply uh, add like new line updated existing line or anything then in that case here it will not impact the master run similar way if sinram sinram is working on the other piece of code he can independently work on his piece of code okay and from the same he is going to do the changes it will not impact uh, nihal code as well as master code right so that's why we have similar way within that we can create another branch also from the existing branch also we can create multiple branch we can define to make sure that okay if okay the developer is going to become so in that case here you can see now sairam want to maintain uh, do the changes so he is maintaining the final code at for his reference into this one in his branch but here one more version uh, he has created to maintain the copy so here simply we can maintain the different copy also in the different branch you can create so you can create a branch and sub branch but the pointed node branch master branch is your the one that is going to maintain the final code that is going to be live in the production we understand what is the or what is a, a live mode so it is the final code that we are going to put into the master branch or in the main branch okay that is the final code and then after that here you can see other than that different developer can create the branch that will be associated with the master branch they can do the changes okay and whatever changes if any developer is going to do in their own branch it is not going to impact the master branch over here okay each branch is independent whatever code copy you are going to maintain in your own branch it will not impact over here okay in your master branch will not be impacted but you you can create multiple branch from the master or you can create multiple branch from your own branch you can do the changes and once you realize that okay uh, the code is fine and it's working you can test it out everything in your branch then you can simply merge the changes and then you can put it into the master branch right clear what is the branching concept yes ma'am yes ma'am so you can create a local branches also in your area or you can create a remote branches also okay like in github also you can create or in the local also you can create so here if you see now uh, we have a github So yesterday we have created one repository with the name of this. Okay, and we put the two file, and we have seen that okay, commit and everything. So you can create the branches from here. Okay, so if I am creating any branches into the GitHub, then it is going to be your remote branches. Okay, your central repository branches. So you can create simply over here, like see by default we have master branch, right? So in that case, if you simply click on this, you can create a new branches, and you can maintain the code inside that. You can maintain the branches over here, and inside that, if you are going to click on the create a branch, you can simply create a new branch over here. So like for example, I'm going to create for the second August is my branch name okay so it is going to simply create a new branch with this name you can see create a branch with this so what will be the base branch from the master branch right base branch will be or from where you want to take the files and everything so you can put that okay whatever is your uh, base branch is your master branch so whatever data you have available whatever files you have available in the master branch that will be also there apart from that the changes you are going to do in that case it will not reflect like you can see if i am creating this create a new branch it will create a new branch this time okay we have two branches available so it will create a new branch second branch and you can see here we have two files same available you can see diksha sharma uh, has been uh, done the changes whatever we have done so everything is reflecting over here and now here you can see in the second again 
you have two two uh, branches master branch is your final branch default branch second one is your this is the one which we have created just now so if i add any new file i am currently over here you can create the file from here also but generally we maintain the copy in the local repository so that's why here we will maintain so you can click on the add file and from here also you can add like create a new file or upload a file like for example i'm creating a new file okay and i'm putting the dem name is demo dot py this is my file name and i'm simply putting Second August twenty twenty three. So in that case, you can simply do the commit changes. So this time, see, okay, can you guys tell me if I'm creating a file over here, okay, uh, with the name of demo dot py in the GitHub? Does this going to make the changes into the local repository also? Can I see this file into local repository also? Yes, I'm creating a file. repository DC man. And how I'm creating a file into the central repository currently with the name of demo.py. So once I do commit changes, can I see this file into the local repository also? Or any additional steps I need to perform? Ma'am, firstly, we have to pull the file from, from central repository. Yes, we have to pull the file right now because we are doing changes into the central repository. So whatever changes you are going to do into the central repository, if I'm going to do the commit, a new file will be created and it will be under the central repository only. So you need to do git pull to fetch the changes. Yeah. Right. So to take yes, the changes no. from uh, central repository to local repository, we need to use a git pull and you need git to pull. take the local to central. You need to use the git push. Yeah. So here you can see when we are going to do commit same, we are doing git commit hyphen M and then commit message here. You can pass git commit and then commit message. So this time we are doing UI based. So that's why we do not need to write down the uh, command but here you can see similar way like you are doing git commit hyphen am then commit message so here also you need to pass the commit message so i can put the commit messages adding new file on 2nd august this is my commit message now here you want to commit directly to the 2nd august branch the one recent branch which we have created or you want to create a new branch okay from this but now we want to make a changes into the second August branch. So in that case, you can see we are simply coming. It is going to ask also. So here you can see now in this, okay, in this currently we are in the second August branch. So in the second August branch, you can see we have three file readme file that we have yesterday added index.html that also we have yesterday added and this demo.py just now we have added adding new file on second August. Right. But if I go to master branch, does this third file will be visible in master branch demo.py no ma'am this third file will be there and why no, no because we doesn't uh, push ma'am uh, we doesn't push into a central repository ma'am we are already in central repository github is your central repository right yeah then it shows my hmm? it shows my master branch man. this file will show into master branch is it yes ma'am yes ma'am no like i'm asking it is going to be show or not like ma'am it doesn't show ma'am right and why it won't show because it is in in branch uh, 
it is in branch yes yes it won't show why because we have created uh, this new file under under the second legacy branch not in the master branch see here we don't have that third file available right the, we here we don't have yes, any third sir. file available why because we have created the file under the specific branch and both are isolated if you are doing the changes in one branch it is not going to uh, reflect under the another branch so if you need to do the uh, changes you need to merge the changes right i told you over here if you need to uh, reflect the changes like here if you have done some changes you need to show that into the master branch you have to merge the changes then only it will reflect into the master branch okay else it will not reflect that okay whatever changes you have done so here if you are doing any changes in your branch okay like here you have might be added new lines or you might be added new files itself so it will be until or unless it will be available in your own branch until or unless you are not merging the changes into the master branch now here you can see i have added this file over here okay so it's i have added in my new branch second of this branch so here i can see third file is there but if i check into the master branch it is not coming up over here right any question on this why it's not coming up and how we have created i use the ui i have not used the code this thing any question on this hmm. are we getting the idea how the flow is working yes ma'am yes ma'am so what we need to do is here we have a file available in the second agus branch now i want to uh, like i want to see this code or this file under master branch also okay this should reflect in the master branch also so for that what we are going to do is we are going to merge the changes okay from uh, from your uh, personal branch to master branch so you can see here we have a list of branches so you can see two branches we have okay first is your master branch second is the second agus branch okay you want to manage you want to delete or do that changes that also you can do right or you want to create a new branch from here also you can create if you go over here now we know that okay there are changes are coming up okay from one branch to another branch so i need to basically merge the changes so that's why there is an option you can see automatically it will detect that there are some changes so you can see compare and pull request so whenever you are going to merge the changes okay from your personal branch to master branch you know need to raise a pr pr stand for pull request you need to raise a pull request to merge the changes okay so you are going to raise a pull request and with the help of pull request we are going to merge the changes okay so here you can see or above it is coming up compare and pull request to merge the changes so in that case here either you can go to the pull request and then you can do the pull request manually that i want to create a new pull request okay and then you can define in which one between uh, which uh, which one is your base branch and which one is a compare branch okay so you can raise a pull request in that case and you can simply do create if not then in that case right now we are doing the changes that's why it's coming up okay that okay these are some changes are coming up so you can simply click on compare and pull request but if it is not coming up then how we are going to do is you need to go to the pull request and then from here you can click on the new pull request so i'm going to do compare and pull request you can see again here your base branch is the master branch right and your comparing branch is the second agus branch where it is going to ask that okay my base branch is this we are comparing i i am doing the changes uh, like uh, the changes are going you can see arrow so whatever changes you have in the second agus branch that is going to be merged into this right if the arrow will like this in that case it will coming up to this so here as per the arrow you can see second august branch data is going to move to the master side and here you want to change it you can do over here now after that before changing i want to understand what are the changes you have done if you scroll down here you can see what are the changes done you can see adding a new file a new file has been added 6 minute ago 
who has added so my name is coming up and what are the file chain you can see showing one file chain with addition one addition it means one row you have added one row you have added so that's why here it is coming up over here and you can see if you click on this one file chain what is the file name this is the file name demo.py right and if you expand it a bit more okay you can see all the detail this is a file right so here you can get an idea also that okay what are the different changes we have done so in the demo.py we have added one new line so in that case you can simply configure it and then here you can simply click on the create pull request right so if you need to raise a pr and then you are going to merge the changes so you have to click on create a pull request now here you can see once you are going to create a pull request in that case here you can see you can define who has done the changes and everything and at the end here you can see basically add more commit by pushing to this it is pushing to this repository and this is the username and then here you can see you need to add some approval that okay any approval required when we are going to do the merge like your teammate your team lead or the senior developer who should review your code so you can add the reviewer also they are going to check that okay what are the changes or maybe what are the uh, in the pull request what are the changes we have done and then only once he is approved then the pull request like it means when at that time only your code is going to merge okay so here you can raise the uh, you can add the approval reviewer also okay here you can uh, mention simply that person name that okay uh, reviewer will be whom and then on that basis here you can define that okay once the reviewer means like for example you are working on some project and you are reporting to me you made the changes and after that you want to make sure that okay uh, the code that you are writing down it is uh, uh, correct and there are no uh, issues so in that case you are going to raise the pull request and you can add me as a reviewer so before merging the changes into the master branch okay that will be your final code before merging the changes into the final code or in the master branch you can add a reviewer who is going to review your code that you have write, write it down correct you follow all the schema and everything standard there is no at, an issue before impacting the final code so once it's done then in that case here you can simply go ahead you can see simply we can you can go ahead and do the merge code request now if i'm doing merging it means now here we are going to merge the changes whatever is written in your uh, uh, branch that is going to be merged with this master bit. so here you can see we are going to do merge pull request right any question before i click on this merge pull request no no ma'am clear what is pull request how we can do merge and yes, here you can see here merge pull request has any comment you want to give that you can provide and then we can do the confirm merge and once you merge the changes then does this uh, look uh, like once you merge the changes then in that case here you can see after merging the changes you can delete the branch also because generally what happen is we are creating a branch and we are maintaining all the code and everything over there so once the code merging is done now this time code you have available in the master branch so why to maintain different different branches so you can delete the branches also if you are done so you can see pull request successfully merged and closed Okay, and here you can see successfully it is done. So if you go to this commit, and here you can see under the commit that what are the commit changes has done. So you can see this is my commit that I have set up. Then after that here you can see what are the file changes has done. That also you can see. Okay, under the demo.py a new file has been new line has been added. So you can review the changes later on. That also you can do and you can add your comment. Okay. And similar way, like I want to go now into the repository. If you go, so in that case, here you can see. Currently, I am in the second guess branch. So in, in that case, here I have, I have these three files are coming up. I am in the second uh, guess branch, so you can. See here, basically we have three files are available and ten minutes ago I have added. So now if I go to the master branch, so 
in the master branch also here you can see basically we have a third file also available so if i open the third file that we have demo.py Now here you can see this is the line that we have added and we can simply copy it and then we can see this is the new file. Right that you can simply download or update edit that you can do if you click on this pencil icon. You can edit this file. You can download this file. You can copy the file. OK, so here you can see in the master file master branch we have merged the changes. And while merging the changes if there is any conflict that also you can see at the same time whenever you want to raise the pull request. So I hope that is clear. Yes, ma'am. What is the branching concept? How we can move the code from one branch to another branch? Why branching is important? So similar way here you can maintain the branching in the local also this one we are setting up into the master uh, this will be your setting up into the central repository in the github okay so whatever branches you are creating in the github it will not reflect into the git uh, in the local repository okay so in the local repository also you can create the branch like similar way here you have created right so if you are creating in the central repository that will be independent branching if you are creating in the local repository that will be also independent branching and so for the local repository we are going to use the command from this git bash right and you can simply open it from the same uh, where we have the yesterday we have created the uh, local repository path from there you can open so i open it over here let's see This folder which we have created yesterday. Right? So now here you can see by default it is going to be set every time on the master branch. But on top of that, we can do the changes. If you will, you want to see the Git branch, so you can see. Git branch, and you can see all the uh, branches that you have in the local repository. So it's showing only for the local repository. So that's why it is going to come as a master. Right? It is coming up from the master only. Now, if I want to see all the branches, then you can search for the Git branch hyphen A. So it will show you all the branches that you have. Red one is the remote origin branch. Okay, remote branch, it means central GitHub branch, central repository, but this master one is showing your local repository branch. Both the side you have master branch available. Now you can see your second against branch is not coming up over here still. Okay, we are not able to see in the GitHub we have, but here it is not coming up. Why? Which command should I run? Why we are not able to see here? We are able to see both all the branches. It could be your local repository or it could be your central repository. Right. So if you are running git branch hyphen a command, you can see all the branches from both local repository and central repository. But why we are not able to see second August branch that we have created just now? Because it is in the master normal. Because it is in uh, master branch mode. So name should be there. No? We have created from the master band, but it's an independent band. So the name should be coming up that there are another branch also. Why it's not showing the third branch uh, or maybe second branch from the central repository? Only one branch why it's showing from the central repository. Only two branches reflecting. 
this is the local repository and this is the central repository if you can do branch hyphen r you will fetch only remote repository branch hyphen r means remote so in the remote repository it is showing as of now only one branch that is the origin hyphen master right if i am doing git branch hyphen r you can fetch all the branches that is available in the remote repository so see if you are doing git branch it will show only local repository okay local repository branch in the local we have one if you do git branch hyphen a it will show all the branch local plus remote if you are doing git branch hyphen r it will show only remote repository branches so here it is showing only one why one it is showing only although in the remote we have two branches any guesses why it's showing only one and you guys have already answered that also just now you guys has answered that okay if i'm creating any branch into the remote repository does this reflect into the uh, local repository if i am creating any branch into the central repository over here okay we have this one so if i am creating any branch into the central repository does this reflect into the local repository no ma'am no so same thing here we are not able to see in the local repository right it's not reflecting uh, the new branch that we have created and why no Uh, we need to pull in the request name. Pull request basically to merge the changes. Here we need to run the git pull command. There are two difference. Git pull command is basically to fetch the changes from central to local, and pull request is basically to merging the changes from one branch to another one. Okay, both are two different uh, steps. But here we are going to do git pull to fetch the. new branches detail also you can see here this yesterday we have two file right okay now here you can see demo.py that is i have not provided over here like let me do this again okay so right now you can see there is no demo.py file available we have index and readme file right but when i am going to do the git pull we are going to fetch the changes now oh, i deleted also and then okay let me do some changes okay so we don't have demo.py file available for example okay we don't have in the local repo this is my local repository right so here we don't have a uh, demo.py file available so in that case here for example i want to fetch this file from central to remote if we need to take then what we are going to do central to local if we need to take then what we need to do if i need to fetch the changes from central repository to local repository what should we do pull command ma git pull command right to fetch the changes from central repository to local repository we need to do git pull so you can see i have made some changes and i now i am updating the demo.py again i did the commit right now here you can see there are a new line has been added in the same existing I can see new line has been added. So now what we need to do is, if I am going to do git pull, I want to have this new file also available locally. So in that case, I am going to do the git pull to fetch the changes. It will take the file, okay, master branch, okay, because here I have available in the master branch. I did the changes over here in the master branch. So here you can see now if I go over here. and check then in that case here we have a demo.py available earlier it was not there okay just now 852 it has been arrived so here if you are going to be open so here you can see added with notepad and here we have same records are available right 
so to understand over here basically okay if you are doing git git pull we are going to take the changes from central repository to local repository so as a changes it will take your branches also so if i check the git branch now now here you can see it's showing both it's showing both the branches origin second august and master now why it's showing both earlier it was not showing both branches you can see earlier if i am running the same command git branch hyphen r we are able to see only one but now if i am running git branch hyphen r i am able to see both and why does this clear for everyone how we fetch the file how we fetch the properties related to branches yes no are you guys with me yes ma'am yes sir. okay so yes, what, we what we have done over here ma'am um, we fetch the file ma'am from uh, Central repository to local repository. With the help of which command? Uh, with the help of git pull, git pull per command. Okay. So here basically, see, we have created one. We have created individual branch, but when we are checking earlier, then it is not showing this branch. It is showing only one branch. So again, like see, if I'm creating a new branch with the name of uh, like, okay, so you can see right now I am again creating into the central repository. In the GitHub, I'm creating this branch, right? A new branch has been created. But again, if I'm going to see the changes, okay, over here with this Git branch hyphen, it will not be able to fetch the third branch. So we need to run the Git pull to fetch all the changes. And once you fetch all the thing, then in that case, you can see a new branch, DB branch is going to be fetched because already your Git, your local repository and your GitHub is in the sync. So if I'm going to check Git branch hyphen R, now it should show all the three, three branches. Because with the help of Git pull, we have fetched the changes. It could be a file, it could be a branch, it could be a configuration. So we are fetching the changes from central repository to remote repository over here. And then simply here we are going to put the code into the respective one. Similar way, if you have created any file over here, okay, and that you want to keep it inside this. So you can see again and uh, quickly even if you can see, we have created new file. Okay, test.html. And I am putting new and doing the commit changes. Again, here we are going to do the commit changes. It is going to have that you want to create a new branch on the existing on the existing DB branch. And now here you can see currently in the DB branch we are. So in that case here, simply we are going to fetch it from this DB branch you want to take. So now simply we can do the new pull request. How? Because currently in the master branch we are not able to see the changes, right? This test.html I created in DB branch right it's not available in the master branch so in that case you can go simply for merging the changes create a new pull request define that okay from master branch i want to merge from the db branch because it has some extra files available so you can see here test.html is the extra file right that i want to merge so you can simply create a pull request and then here you can simply add that okay from db branch we are merging the changes because we have one new test.html file if you see the changes, you can scroll down in the below. You can see the changes also. And simply here, create pull request like we did earlier, and you can add it. Okay, now here it will check the conflict. Is there any conflict available? Okay, you can see there is no conflict available, so it's a good. You can see this branch has no conflict with the base branch, so you can simply do merge. And once you do confirm merge. So what we have done is from the in our own branch, we have created a new file test.html and then raise a pull request, merge the changes into the master branch. So if you want to take the changes, okay. Like you can see in the local file, we don't have 
this time test.html file but if i do git pull from the master branch here it is going to take the new file that you have okay so you can see if i go and check this time we have a test.html also available clear the whole thing that we have discussed how we can merge the changes how branching will be done how we can move the code from one branch to another branch and how we can take the code from central repository to local repository clear for everyone yes ma'am everyone yes, is good yes ma'am so just try, try the same thing at your end branching and other stuff okay and then uh, i'll paste this code also okay it is a git branch to check all the branches okay chat i am optionally we got okay check all branch we have a git branch available no sorry uh, check all branch you have git branch hyphen a to check local branch we have a git branch available and to check uh, uh, remote branch we have git branch hyphen r and to fetch changes we have git pull we have get pull it should be in the small to take the changes right so just try with this also i shown you on the screen but similar way you guys can also try it out at your screen right any question what we have discussed today